What is going on guys? Welcome back to Wildcat Cave. It took a little longer than expected, but Will Levis finally got drafted in the second round by the Tennessee Titans and will now begin his NFL career. This video is going to be pretty simple and straightforward. I'm going to give you guys my opinion on why I think Levis fell to the second round, my thoughts on the quarterbacks who went before him, and what I think we can expect from Levis going forward. When we're talking about why he fell out of not only the top five, but the entire first round, I don't think there's a simple answer. I think it was a combination of a bunch of different factors, and I think that if you ask five different NFL people why he fell so far, you honestly probably get five different answers. The most recent report that's came out so far is it seems that teams were nervous about a turf toe injury that he suffered last season. Personally, I think that's a bunch of baloney. If there was an injury that he had that I would be cautious about if I was an NFL GM, it would have been his rib or when his fingers were pointing different directions against Ole Miss. Now, I've never had turf toe, but it's a fairly common thing in sports, and it's been like nine months since it happened. He said back in January that he felt 100% healed up and that it hasn't caused him any issues up to this point. So to me, I think this is either a GM that said this in order to justify a pick that they made that might not have been popular, or the media is just grasping at straws trying to find a reason for him sliding so far that they just don't understand or don't have a straight answer to. The other big story surrounding Will was that his early interviews might have rubbed some teams the wrong way. Every organization will have a different standard for what personality they look for in a quarterback. A lot of teams want just a quiet, confident guy who's not going to produce many headlines and interviews and stuff. And when Will came out early talking about how he's going to bring teams championships and how he has a cannon, I think some of that just rubbed some of the old school owners and GMs the wrong way as a first impression. Reports are also out there that he kind of had that same confidence in the behind the scenes interviews with some teams. And they also say that throughout the process that got a lot better, but the most important impression in life is always the first one. And I think he may have soured some people early on him. I don't think he was trying to be arrogant or cocky, but he is extremely confident in himself and in those abilities. And I think he may have even been told to try to make himself stand out a little more in some way and be a little more outgoing and, you know, really lean into that confidence and that bravado that he has. But he might have just taken it a little overboard. Another reason could be as simple as a lot of teams just didn't need quarterbacks this year. And after the Colts chose Anthony Richardson, there just wasn't much opportunity later in the round. There was three teams who everyone knew needed a quarterback, but after that, there was only a handful who were even considering taking one. And all of those teams, like Bucks, Raiders, Titans, and Rams, just chose to use their first-round pick on a different position. And obviously, that's not really Will's fault or even a knock against Will. It's just that those teams had other positions in need. And if we're being honest, all of this really goes back to the Colts. Everyone, everyone, including the people around Will Levis, had their eggs in the Indianapolis basket. And when the Colts flipped and took Richardson, the entire draft changed for Will. Personally, I don't understand the hype around Anthony Richardson, and we'll get to that in just a second. But it seems like Jim Irsay and the Colts bought into the hype and it and took Anthony instead of Will. It also seemed like they immediately had buyer's remorse. I don't think they got the response that they hoped for from Colts fans, and Ursay even put out a tweet suggesting they may take Will in a later round to have him compete with Richardson. I'll try to put that here on the screen for you guys to see right now, but the person Will should really be mad at is Rich Scangarello. I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that Rich cost Will Levis millions and millions of dollars. Rich ran a system that just was not suitable for college or for Will's strengths. When Will had Liam Cohen, Cohen designed the offense around Will's arm and Wandell's ability to make plays. Rich took Will completely out of the run game, which has been one of his biggest threats and made him stand behind an offensive line that was the worst in the Power Five and just take beating after beating. When you have a quarterback like Will who can make plays with his legs, you have to let him run. And I get that they were trying to protect him knowing that he's going to be in the draft this year, but I believe Rich did that kid a huge disservice